quick final check on the markets here as we see all three major averages rallying, coming down off the uh, initial highs of the session just a touch here, but the Nasdaq still leading here up by 1%. And we have been watching uh, a lot of interesting trending tickers as well, folks, including Alphabet after completing its stock split. Yeah, another one too, uh, NVIDIA catching a bid. We were talking about a little bit in break, perhaps crypto's coming back. Of course, NVIDIA, a key player in that crypto mining market, seeing NVIDIA shares a top trending ticker on our platform. Yeah, GPU business, the largest for NVIDIA there. So that is critical, especially when you kind of annex the cryptocurrency landscape, the gaming landscape as well, and the overlap that they have in users, customers there for NVIDIA. We're seeing the shares move higher by about 4.7%. On the sector front, you've got more advancers than decliners, nine out of 11 S&P 500 sectors in positive territory being led by energy today. Consumer discretion also right behind that. However, the two biggest laggards right now, health and utilities right now. Yeah, and I mentioned the home builders earlier after that home builder index really deteriorating. They're still higher on the day, but they definitely took a leg do uh, downward after we got that sentiment uh, figure at the top of the 10 a.m. hour. That is it for us, but we have an important programming note. The man sitting next to me, Brian Sazi, is going to be speaking with Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon at 1030 tomorrow. And coming up in the next hour, Akiko Vegeta and Brian Chung will do a deeper dive into those bank earnings with JMP Securities' Devin Ryan. You don't want to miss that. And do tune in tomorrow who, for the man not, no longer known as DJ Saul, apparently. David Solomon on Spotify. Now just David Solomon mm. if you're looking for those tunes that he's spinning on Spotify. All right. Have a great day, everybody.